Greg Tepper of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here in Wichita Falls, Texas at the Texas Six-Man Coaches Association Clinic and Convention here with the head coach of the most remarkable Texas high school football team of all time, the 1976 Marathon Mustangs, and also I guess he's done some other things. It's Coach Vance Jones of Belmaray. Coach, how are things at Belmaray? Great. We've had a good summer, a lot of rain, and it's been cool and cooler than normal, so it's been a good summer. You know what? Whenever you ask coaches uh, how are things are in their town, you can always tell their personality based on whether or not they're talking about the football team or whether or not they talk about how much it rained. And I think we learned a lot about you, just <laughs> Well, you know, you, you have, to, have to keep count of the rain to get the football field watered. <laughs> Especially out there in Valmarais. So, uh, you know, I want to flash back a little bit to 2018. Last year, you know, we – coming off of two straight state championship appearances, um, this is a team that – we thought, boy, rebuilding, losing a really decorated senior class, a lot of guys, a lot of leadership beyond the, the outstanding playmakers. And I, if you guys don't haul off and start surprising some folks, um, how did you see that team grow last year over the course of the season? Well, you know, first we had a good senior leader in Marcus Mendoza, and he stepped it up. And we had uh, some good seniors and some and a couple good juniors, but we have a real strong sophomore class. Uh, we've got about 12 or 13 sophomores, and they're very athletic. And we felt like that we had the potential to be pretty good, but we had a lot of learning, you know, some learning curves to to get better at. And you know, we played a pretty tough schedule. At one point, we were two and two, and our kids realized that they had a chance to be pretty good, and they worked hard and and we just got to where we got better as the year progressed and fortunate one district again and made it to the quarterfinals. So we felt like that uh, as coaches that uh, our kids really came a long way. And so now looking forward to 2019, those youngsters are a year, a year older, a little year more seasoned. Seems like you guys are still going to be on the younger, younger end of it, but, but overall whenever you take a look at your 2019 team, how do you think maybe they're going to be different? Uh, yeah, we'll be pretty much similar to the other teams uh, schematically, but uh, we're going to have uh, three or four seniors that are going to do a good job, and then we've got those uh, juniors that are going to step up, and and I, I really feel like we have a chance to be uh, really good, you know, and if we can stay healthy and keep maturing, then I think we've got a shot at making a good run. Uh, you're you're one of the the, the godfathers of six man football in this in this state. You've done a lot of winning, um, and and here you are at the Six Man Coaches Association uh, convention and clinic. From your perspective, when you come to an event like this, what are you, what are you looking to get out of? What brings you to an event like this? Oh, you know, I think you 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 never stop learning. You know, I don't care how old you are, uh, you still learn. And I every day I learn one or two things that I can incorporate into what I do. And then you get reinforced on a lot of things you do do, you know, and that's the main thing. I come to clinics is, you know, the camaraderie, of course, and the visiting with the coaches you've known forever. But you, you come and you learn, you know, and that's the main thing. You, if you're not learning, you're not growing. So, uh, But you're, you're also out here trying to get some intel on these teams, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, there's a lot of arm twisting, you know, behind the back, uh, you know, trying to get a little – you here or there of what they're going to do or might change so of course you do that <laughs> uh, I want to ask you about uh, football out there in that part of the world you know as you know that's one of our favorite parts of the favorite parts of the state uh, out there in, in that country that world. have you felt the since you've even since you've arrived there at Balmeray have you felt the community really um, really embrace this this football program oh yeah you know small town Texas is uh, all about football. You know, it's not just the game. It's just it cements a community, and uh, the Balmeray people are awesome. Uh, you know, they they follow our, our kids no matter where we go and whatever sport we do. But it all starts with football, and I think you'll find that in all small West Texas towns that the the community revol revolves around the school and what the school's doing. Um, most importantly, the pool's back open, yes? Yes. Yes, the pool's open. Are you a lifeguard there? Uh, no. <laughs> Are you interested in it? No. <laughs> uh, uh, my <laughs> kids go after practice every day in two days. <laughs> I, yeah, I, that, that is not surprising. And, and so finally, you know, I'm, I'm interested, uh, kind of from your perspective, um, 
how you've seen the six-man game grow. Um, this is a, a game that obviously back in, in, in the 70s was first incorporated in, in the UIL, you know, as a, a recognized as the UIL state champion. Now, you know, here we are, the, the, game, the, the state championship games are played at AT&T Stadium, they're televised. Um, from your perspective, as a guy who's um, been around the block, let's just say that, uh, how, how do you think, what's most striking to you about the way that the, that the six-man game has grown in Texas? You, you know, I think uh, media has a lot to do with it. Uh, when I was in high school, we, uh, you know, we only could go to the regional level. You know, one team could get out of district, and so it, it it's grown so far as far as the teams that can compete and have a chance to advance, and then the coverage we get now. Uh, if, at one time, people said, "What is six man football?" There, everybody in Texas knows about it now, and I, I, I think because we finally got accepted as a legit. And we're allowed to play the same place that the big schools play that more people have got to learn about six man. And y'all's coverage has done a lot to help that. And, we, you know, that just made it better than what it was when I was in high school. We realized before we started the interview that this is the fourth time in four years that we've seen each other. We saw each other at the two state championship right. games, then we came out to, to Marathon and now and now here. Uh, so just, you know, to close it all out, are you tired of us? No, Lord, no. I was just telling you, you know, we'd love for you to come back to Balmeray sometime. <laughs> you got a room? We'll find one. Coach, appreciate your time. <laughs>